Okay, so a weekly portfolio review. I always do this every single Friday or Thursday if Fridays are off. Of course, I'm still trying to recover back to my original $7,700. And I've been doing this slow, steady crawl. It's not as exciting. I'm not going to yellow my whole portfolio onto something because it's way too dangerous. So if you check out the one week graph, you can just see it. It's a little bit hectic. Now, you could just see I did lose a good amount of money because I was messing around with these spreads, but I did recover really, really well and ended up with $6,700. I did mess around with some options, which was not a good idea. I did lose some money. I did lose 100 bucks on Tesla Strangle, and I also pretty much just made like a couple bucks from my $1,500 worth of Apple calls because Goldman was being like, pretty crappy today and at 4 a.m. they announced that Apple's price tag wasn't this high. They lowered their price target for Apple by like 20 bucks and Apple went from like plus 3% after hours last night to like negative 0.5% which is pretty terrible and I didn't make any money. Thankfully, I didn't lose any money because Apple is currently drilling down to earth. So right now, I ended up the week with $7,000, which isn't that exciting. It's been really choppy. I'm trying to get to that $10,000 mark, and hopefully, I could probably do some spreads and slowly gain my position up and up. I feel like options isn't really for me, especially how dangerous it is, but guess what? I'm thinking about buying a SPY strangle, meaning that we'll be buying $1,000 worth of calls and $1,000 worth of puts, and hopefully on Monday, it's not flat and it goes either up or down so this is pretty much a portfolio review it's really not that exciting you know this week i did recover from very low amounts of money to you know decent amounts i'm still trying to cover hopefully i can hit eight thousand next week or even nine thousand and i might just be doing credit spreads for the next week and maybe occasional the calls and puts here and there i also have this one share ford right now which is doing really well plus four percent and i got like a few pennies for a gumball machine but that's about it. This is my weekly portfolio review. Things aren't doing so well, but things aren't doing so bad either. It's just really just flattening out and it's extremely boring. Thanks for watching.